Oh, welcome to the Embercosm video on bringing up a parallel board. We've compressed into about five minutes the hour and a half it took us to get the board up and running its first programs. So, speed it up. Let's get that box open. Well packaged up by uh, Adaptiva, so it takes a little while. And here's the first of the goodies, the Parallela board itself. Plenty of warnings about uh, careful handling. We don't want to blow up our new chip before we've even got it running. Now the big package, this is the Z board, the prototyping board with the Xilinx Zinc chip on it and a small box of all those useful little things a USB on the go cable to turn a, a little USB port into a big one a micro SDT card with the operating system on a micro USB cable and of course the power supply for the board Let's take a look at what's inside those uh, packets now. Here's the uh, parallel board. Let's look at it a bit more detail. This is an Altair FPGA controlling the logic. And there's the Epiphany processor, 16 cores in this case, and a big connector to connect to the host Z board. Now for the Z board, it's a big circuit board, SD card on the bottom, memory, and heat sink on top of the zinc chip in the middle. That's the Xilinx FPGA with two ARM cores on it. Now let's plug it all in. The Z board. First of all, let's connect in the Parallel daughter board. Now the SD card on the bottom. This has a full Linaro Ubuntu operating system image on it. So boot up straight away. Uh, now let's get the power supply plugged in. It's uh, a US power supply, so since we're in England, we need a great big adapter on it to fit in the plug socket. We're going to use a keyboard, so we use the on-the-go adapter to turn it into a small USB connector. One of the drawbacks of the Z board is it only has a single USB port, so you can't have both a keyboard and a mouse unless you've got a USB hub. Uh, but a keyboard's enough to bring things up anyway. In goes the monitor and a wired Ethernet. And lastly, the other end of the power supply to fire up the board. Turn it all on, little switch at the top, and lights start flashing as we start powering up. This takes a few minutes, so let's speed it all up a bit. And up comes Linux, tucks the penguin showing there. And there we have the Linaro uh, desktop back display shown. Now to check the Epiphany boards really running, let's just run the default matrix multiplication test which is supplied with the board. Let's set up a console. and into the test directory a little script to run everything up away we go and there's a matrix multiplication gone through using a bit over a second on the epiphany so a bit over a second on the ubuntu board and a tenth of a second on the epiphany chip 